art students. Today we are talking about motors. This is the first of probably many videos teaching you how to use motors in your artwork. This video is just allowing you to dip your foot into the water, your toe into the water, so that you can see how motors have function and purpose in the art room. So first off, what is a motor? Well, this is a motor. We'll get into the inner workings of this part, but basically what you need to know is that electricity goes in and out of the motor, and then this guy right here just spins super, 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 super fast, and you can't even see it when it is spinning. Now, anything that has movement probably has a motor. And so only for Miss Russ, she took apart our 3D pen. So you can see our 3D pen, it has movement, right? It moves the filament through it slowly, slowly, slowly. Therefore, when I take the 3D pen apart, what am I gonna find? Ta-da, I'm gonna find a motor. See that right there? That is a motor. So knowing that anything that has movement probably has a motor, how can we use that to make art? Let's tilt you down and I'm gonna show you how this works. So what Miss Russ has done is she's taken an egg carton and inside this egg carton, I'll tilt it to the side so you can see, look, there's the little top bit of the motor and then underneath, see, there's where our wires are coming out. The one difference with this motor, unlike other motors potentially, is that Miss Russ has tape something extra in there. Do you see that? And you can see it in real life too. This right here is called, you can see it's really little, a resistor. And what that does is it resists, it prevents, it stops the electricity from coming from the batteries and getting to the motor. Well, why would Miss Russ do that? Well, I could just use less batteries and then I would have less power, but then my battery would need replaced all the time. But by resisting it, it means that the batteries are saving their power and my mower, or my mower, my motor goes slower. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. Now every once in a while, something won't quite work and the motor won't go. So you have to check your connections because if these get fiddled with, oh, if you still can't see it. If these get fiddled with, it can't go. Now we can hear it. But it's really hard to see that this is spinning because it is perfectly centered. Okay, so let's turn it off and let's see how can we use that to make art. Well, if I take my art example piece, I'm gonna put it in there and I tilt you up so you can see. Let's see, okay, and then I'm gonna turn it on. We will see that what it does is, let's see if I can get it so you can see it better. Do you see how it looks like there's more than one apple? Maybe even if I tilt it like that, you can see it a little bit. So we can use the fact that the art spins to our advantage. So let's see that. How is this made? So we can see there's a container. Now when I was all done, if I wanted to, I painted the inside of the container. So not the outside, but the inside, because it's see-through, and I didn't have to paint the lid. Then I took my container, and I punched holes in it. Well, when we use the hole punch, we remember, we think of it like an alligator. So the tooth and the tongue and the bottom mouth. The thing that we are punching has to go under the tooth and the tongue and then using not the front, not up here, but the back. So we have lots of leverage, we squeeze as hard as we can, <laughs> boom. And if we need to, we can ask for adult help. Okay, once I've done that, now I have to remember, this is gonna spin. So I don't need to build, let's pretend I'm building a flower. I don't need to build the flower all the way around. I just need to build the flower on one side. So I'm gonna, now you can make whatever you want. Miss Russ isn't feeling very creative today, so she is picking a flower. So I'm gonna make some petals on this side. And maybe, maybe I need more than that, okay? But let's try it. I'm gonna connect it to a base. I'm gonna put it on my stand and I'm gonna turn this on. Oh, it's kinda of getting close. So what can I notice? Well, I can notice that first off, my petal, the leaves, the petals slowly go up as I work. Also, the yellow, I can see the yellow strong in the center and I can see it a little bit on the outside but the yellow isn't strong enough in the center. So I need to add more color 
so that I see the petals all the way around when it spins. So I then might take this off and I might go and maybe instead I'm like, ooh, I shall add a purple inside. Maybe that will help my flower stand out. As you create your art that spins, knowing it doesn't have to go all the way around because it will spin all the way around, see how you might be able to get motors to make your art do something that surprises the audience. Bye.